great. Thank you. <laughs> Hi travellers, I'm Anne's daughter Lalika and welcome back to my channel. You just saw the end of a transaction at the fake markets. Today I'm going to introduce you to Gmo Lu, which is the local fake markets here. If you saw my previous video of the pier and the pavilion, then it's very near there. In fact, from there you could jump in a cab and you'd be there in less than 10 minutes. When it comes to haggling a price, I usually go for 50% less than what they've initially offered, but everybody has their different ideas of what works and what doesn't. Some people say a third of what they've initially offered, and as foreigners, we have to be aware that we're getting foreigner prices. One aspect of Gmo Lu that I do like is that the workers there, they're not pushy like they are in other markets in other parts of Asia. You can be wandering around and nobody will say a word. They're too busy on their phones and couldn't care less. It was only once I sort of loitered by a few for what was seemingly a long time before they even were like, oh, I should get up and say hello. I also like Gmo Lu because the staff, especially on the ground floor when you walk in, they really try their best with English to try and make you comfortable and they've learned enough to be able to transact in quite a seamless manner. You walk in on the ground floor and there's escalators down and there's escalators up. And it's not so big that you're going to get lost, but you can find all sorts in the market. There's all the fake luxury goods, whether it's handbags, watches, caps, belts, shoes, there's a lot of pearls, a lot of jewellery in there too. And oddly enough, gift wrapping. Gift wrapping. <laughs> and if there is a particular item that you're after, I would have like a screenshot or a picture saved of that on my phone so that I could show the sellers and find a particular stall that sells that. So for example, if there was a particular cap that you wanted, have a picture that you can pull up. And if they have the stock, then they'll point it out to you. If they don't, though, they will go running to their little neighbor friends that also sell very much the same items. The strategy you could use is if you can't, for some reason, bargain them down to a price that you think is reasonable, then just walk away. And when you're walking away, then they'll often yell out the price that you originally wanted, like the lowest price that you started with, because they do, they want to make the sale. It takes practice, and you'll get your haggling confidence, I'll call it, <laughs> and, and no, yeah, whatever they're going to say first up, completely ignore. I went in just to film and show you what's available at this particular market. I didn't intend to buy anything, but then I saw this bag and I'm like, oh, I kind of have been looking at it online. And, but I wanted to try it out and see if it fits what I want it to fit. And for being able to have like a test run, as it were, with a fake one to see if it fits. I mean, I think that's great for me. This is a walkthrough. Also, please excuse some of the footage has what you'll see is my coat zip because I had my camera down my top.
How much is this one? Mm -hmm. How Nine much? Fifty. Nine fifty? Mm -hmm. oh. No, you can match. You can match. Less, less. You can match. Oh, no. <laughs> no friend, no friend. My, my, my friend. Okay, okay. Yeah. You can match. How much you is match? this one? Three eighty. Mm. You how much? This one. Friend price. This one? Maybe. Different color again. Yeah. You do? Yeah. Uh, one. This color. Only this color. Yeah. This one, this one. Maybe one ten. Friend price. Okay. Friend okay, price. Friend. <laughs> Great, thank you. <laughs> anyway, so this is what I came out with. It's just it's just a Louis Vuitton pochette and yeah, it's quite obviously fake because the seams don't line up as they should. But I wanted to try this size bag, see if it fits. Look at that, give you a nice little piece of plastic to cover the strap with. Also it's in the Damier Jour print and white in me is not gonna last long so I really don't mind. And what I ended up paying was more than what it's worth. I mean there's no doubt about that. I'll give it a little test run, see if it works with my lifestyle and if it does, fantastic. And then I'll go and buy the real one. If not, let me know in the comments below what your bargaining or haggling strategy is for getting the best price. <laughs> look, look. Brenda. I just have a bag. Look, look. Brenda. I don't need more. You go very good, there you go. Yeah, but I have a lovely black, black oh, color. Oh, very good, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> you go, yeah, very good.